the PFAS show is sponsored by MountGox.com and MezzyGrill.com and CarpeBM.com. Hi guys, welcome back to the PVAS show. Today I have Pamela Quincy, an Italian designer from Italy. How Hi. are you? I'm good. Yay. Thank you for this nice. I know, I was like excited. <laughs> we got shoes, we have dresses. I mean, yeah. we have it all here in the studio, guys. And hopefully you will enjoy it as much as I will. Now, um, what made you come from Italy to New York City? <laughs> well, okay, so let's start this adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I came uh, two years ago, in 2009. Um, I was working in Milan for many years, and at one point I decided to have a trip. And I said, mm, where can I go? Let's go to New York. <laughs> I didn't really want to come to New York. I just decided to have a trip and relax after having like uh, work a lot in the fashion exactly. industry in Milan. And New York choose me. <laughs> <laughs> so I definitely, after five minutes that I was here, I was in the cab in Times Square like that. Oh my God, this is <laughs> the best place in the world. Like a lot of energies and everything. And I really decided right away, I want to stay here. Exactly. <laughs> so I, I just start to, to see how this was like become possible and... And how long have you lived here now? Two years. Two years, wow. Yeah. September, 3rd of September is going to be two yes. years. Nice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so how do you feel? How is the competitive world in New York City than in Italy? Well, um, fashion is a very competitive world, I think, everywhere. Milan, uh, they used to call the capital of fashion, but I think New York, it really is. <laughs> Sorry, Milan. <laughs> and um, of course, everywhere it's very hard. Uh, it's not just fancy and glittery and uh, fashion, it's a very strong world. Exactly. And, yeah, so. and how do you promote yourself here now that... Well, let's say that everything starts just for fun. <laughs> I, was, I was just moving to New York and uh, working for a company that I'm designing to for this company. So, um, What's the name of...? Um, mm, it's an handbag company. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, so, wow, um, nice. we, I work for them and then uh, just for fun we start to uh, wear my shoes. And actually in Milan I made my first pair. And oh, um, I just bring it with me in the luggage <laughs> <laughs> and then I was going out and I said, well, why not put just my shoes and have, you know, some different <laughs> things. And then people was like, stop me and say, wow, where did you get there? Those are nice. So I start to make new pairs. Nice. And, um, and then everything starts one day when a girl that I met in a club, she told me, well, like, you actually have a very interesting style. We should have a fashion show. Definitely. I was like, a fashion show in New York? <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, yeah, let's do it. And, um, and I, I start and I did like this first fashion show at Greenhouse that is like nice. one of the major. Yeah, that's like one of the top clubs out here yeah i mean pretty much all the celebrities go to the greenhouse exactly so I, I, I still haven't been actually <laughs> Whoa, okay i have to go guys with me. <laughs> so we did this fashion show at greenhouse and it w that was april in 2010 nice and after these shows i never stopped i know i, I see <laughs> i mean i've been to what i went to your first fashion show i believe um, at the Plaza. At the Plaza Hotel. Yeah. Yes, actually, that's where we met. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then, um, then afterwards, I, well, I went, I went to a couple other ones, and then I also went to your first year anniversary. Yes, that was a yes. sky room, and we have a lot of fun. Yes. We had, like, a cake. And, exactly, uh, like, it was yeah, beautiful. Yeah, we had a mini fashion show. Yeah, it's very, it's very interesting, like, the fashion world in New York, because it really gives, gives a lot of, uh, young designers the possibility to show exactly. uh, the collection, their ideas. Exactly. And that's, that's a little bit the difference between Italy and um, America. <laughs> <laughs> because um, it really is like the place where you really get the chance and the opportunity to show 
what you have as an artist. Exactly, exactly. So of that, I <laughs> thank everybody. Yay! So. <laughs> how do you get at, um? How do you get most out of your customers? Like, um, I promote myself and my collection through events, uh, parties, on uh, fashion shows. Talking on interviews, <laughs> magazines, <laughs> every, yes. every possibilities that I have, meeting people. That's I like, awesome. I like, I really like to work like with clients and like I, I always invite them in my studio in Chelsea uh, to <laughs> where all the creation <laughs> from. Yeah, <laughs> and I customize most of my pieces so if they like a pair of shoes that they feel comfortable with I just say okay so let's put up some crystals here some <laughs> and and make it your own you know yeah yeah that's awesome I like when people feel special wearing something that I make that's the first thing that makes me feel happy <laughs> <laughs> hey like I mean I, I actually went to your studio in Chelsea and yeah. it was it, it was amazing <laughs> I walked in and I was like oh my god this is like a girl's doll <laughs> house like it was yeah. so cool I, I was call, like, wow. like my crystal world <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and how do, how do you like do people come to you with ideas or do you just have your own idea that you want to make uh, I pretty much have my ideas because I know that my style is kind of unique and uh, maybe it's a little bit <laughs> 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 you know, like fancy and uh, glittery but if if people have some like I would like to have uh, like uh, a pair of shoes in like in pink or with this and that we yes. can definitely uh, exactly. work something out together yeah and what is your new spring fashion gonna look like um actually that's the fur the pair that um I just finished I just made and um, this one here yeah so it's gonna be a lot of metals and nice shining guys. and I use them also in like pink metal and blue so that's the first one in gold and <laughs> we're gonna have a different so no this is a really really shining. like hot shoe right here guys like seriously <laughs> I would wear that shoe maybe yes. for Halloween or something who knows <laughs> <laughs> maybe I could try it right now let's try it on oh, okay. you want to try a shoe on yes let's do it let's, which Let's see. Let's see. Oh wait, uh, that's that. Oh side. yes, it's this one. Oh wait, yeah. Here. Let's see. Let's see, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just. Um, uh oh. Well, I kind of fit. <laughs> I think. Well, ladies, here's the fits. shoe. <laughs> you could actually. Oh my god, it actually fits. Look, look. Oh my god, I want this shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm like, wait. I am I using for um, Halloween and I can dress up like Britney Spears or something? <laughs> oh, this is so hot. Girls, I love you girls. Seriously, you guys always have like the best stuff out there. For guys, we don't get no designs on our shoes. We just get plain old black or white shoes that say Nike or yeah, <laughs> God knows what. Everybody asks me why you don't do a man line. I'm like, okay, let me just think a little bit more and then maybe I can shop with a man line. You should totally like get a yeah. man line. I will wear it. Yeah, I will. Okay, it would be a surprise soon. <laughs> now, I want to ask you, why are you wearing the double flag dress? Okay, the double flag dress, it's, be it's because... Um, in June, I was uh, I had a um, fashion competition in Italy in Rome. Very nice. That is called Ponte Milve Moda, nice. and I was uh, one of the designers to be in the competition to be the best young designer 2011, and I think I actually won. <laughs> Ooh, congratulations! <laughs> Yay! So yeah, that was uh, an amazing like um, opportunity. Very to cool. be back in my country and to show for the first time exactly. my collection so i was really uh really <laughs> really like oh my god i don't know if they're gonna like it it's uh, really like new york style and a lot of energy in my product so. nice but i think they like it very cool very <laughs> and, cool uh, it was great because actually i had this dancer 
uh, Elena Damario, this Italian dancer that um, two years ago she won the um, Italian version of American Got Talent wow. for dancer. And she's um, the first dancer here in New York for the Parsons School, this ballet company. Nice. And she opened my show dancing a Lady Gaga song, <laughs> wearing Gaga. a body that uh, uh, uh. I embroidered for her. Yeah. Oh, wow. She was hiding herself <laughs> on a tutu and then <laughs> an explosion of crystals. And um, damn, that's and hot. That was really, really nice to be her with me. And that, it was a very nice moment for me. That's awesome. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> so I mean, that must have been thrill. Like, American Idol? Wow. Yeah, it's the same thing. Oof. for Yeah, it's called Amici. Wow. And for the, flag, the double flag dress is because I made that for me, for the end of the show, just to say that I love my country, but I love America too, because right now that's the place where I live and give me the opportunity to do everything exactly. I'm doing. So I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you so see that? You. We love you, America and Italy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, has the weaker economy, economy affected your business at all or? Yeah, unfortunately, I think everywhere we have a very bad moment and in fashion it's not easy it's not easy in italy like i know and uh, when i move it was very the time uh, where the recession arrived here and then there and then i move here but it's still very very difficult so yeah you know like, exactly but well hey we all try and we try to make the best try, of it so. we'll try why not to keep follow our dreams and try exactly. to, to continue yes. to do everything otherwise what we do we don't do anything anymore exactly. so now we have to be strong and keep going and uh, yep. hopefully <laughs> it's gonna be better soon yes yeah definitely follow your dreams guys because without them no. we wouldn't be here <laughs> follow your dreams always exactly um yeah and actually for follow my dreams i want to show <laughs> <laughs> i want to show you that that is um, when I was in Rome for wow. the fashion show, I also was part of this event for this magazine called Art, Art Artistic uh, Resource of Tomorrow. Nice. That is um, um, a magazine uh, for emerging artists in wow. fashion, in music, in all the uh, all the different fields yeah, entertainment everything very cool so these guys in rome are doing a great job and are interviewing uh, artists uh, all around italy and why not then of course everywhere. and wow and i can't i'm still like <laughs> congratulations on being on the cover check this That's out guys she's thing. on the cover <laughs> of art like yeah. this is amazing congratulations this picture seriously. we shoot in new york with this photographer margarita mirabella from italy uh, she's so talented and we have fun and I say guys make sure that people don't think that it's like a magazine that how you wash yeah. your clothes <laughs> <laughs> I mean I mean a lot of here exactly <laughs> But no, it turned very well. Well, you turn into the laundry, you turn laundry into a sex <laughs> symbol. <laughs> like, <Yes. laughs> that's hot. So, Show us the inside of it. Oh, yeah. So we have a lot of interviews and it's a lot of different artists. Very and, cool. um, and then here in the middle, you have oh, my wow. interview. Pamela Z. That is like my story. Uh, how I begin everything. A Cinderella story. The Cinderella <laughs> story. She is the Cinderella of New York City, guys. Yeah, I want to show you like Look some at this. pages. That is so hot. I love it. <laughs> I, I love this picture where all the shoes on the floor. That's yeah, amazing. That was a picture I, I shoot in Milan. Um, the Cinderella of New York, that's funny because <laughs> uh, this Italian magazine uh, in December, mm, Fashion Basics, they wrote an article about me and uh, they were just asking me questions, so what do you do? And about the shoes and they came up with the, <laughs> she's the new Cinderella of New York for yes. the shoes. So, okay. <laughs> now all you need is the little, the little rats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but New York, there's so many. <laughs> yeah, for real. 
<laughs> you can invite them over. Be like, hey guys, want to help me make some shoes? Like in yeah. the movie Enchanted. Oh my god, that was like my favorite movie. Yeah, and that's um, so <laughs> funny. And that's crazy. That's my that's my lucky shoe, the pink one. The pink um, shoe. Because um, look at this. Yeah, that's that's like the first pair I made in New York. And it's actually bring me a lot of luck because yeah. I was uh, in my first fashion show at Greenhouse and then um, a lot of photo shooting events. Very and, cool. Um, I had the, f like, I, I was lucky to meet this um, girl that with Elena, she won uh, the, Ameri the Italian version of America Got Talent uh, singer. Nice. So I met both of them and it was <laughs> very nice. And um, she came to New York to shoot this uh, mu music video. So, and through a friend of mine, Marco Salom, that is the best uh, <laughs> director of That's awesome. videos in Italy and worldwide. We shoot this video around New York. It was March and it was freezing. <laughs> and uh, Emma, this incredible singer, she was wearing one of my dresses and these pink boots. And yes. she was just amazing. And that's her hot. voice is incredible. So that's amazing. That's my Yay! That's your baby. <laughs> yeah. Now, guys, we'll be right back. And when we come back, we're going to show you some of her dresses. And also, we will show you some more shoes. And thank you, guys. <laughs> this show is sponsored by MountGox.com. It's the largest online exchange services for Bitcoins, and they also now take euros and G GBP and all CAD is coming any day now. Euro coming with Vitomat acquisition, Mt. Gox mobile app on Android market, allows you to use Bitcoins on the go. YubiKey USB security device protects your account even on compromised computers. And MezzyGrill.com, where authentic, Mediterranean food meets modern flavor, <laughs> now serving breakfast. It's on 8th Avenue on 55th Street in New York City, just a couple blocks south of Columbus Circle. First brick and mortar to accept and sell bitcoins in NYC. And carpaybm.com. Seize your market, say it with video. Charlie works closely with you from beginning to end to ensure your audio, I mean, I'm sorry, your video makes an impact. Video on the web is ideal to engage your viewers. And, and we're back, guys. <laughs> we're back with the PVA show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, we're going to get some dresses to show you guys and some shoes. And also the fan questions. We have a couple of fan questions that wanted to ask a few questions to Pamela. Yeah. And hopefully, you know, we can um, answer them and get it together. Yeah. So do you want to show us one of your pieces? Of course. So here we have one of the new collection dresses. Um, it's like a tulle and silk, and we have a transparent part. Nice. With embroideries, everything of my collection has some piece of embroidery, sequins, and of course crystals <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. And that's. Um, a color for spring like peach salmon Very and nice. so my collection is about some kind of couture dresses and now we have another more sexy <laughs> line <laughs> in um in spandex nice and just to come back to the metallic uh, we have metallic spandex in different colors. I, I have in the collection this shape in double colors and everything has embroidery on the front. Very and nice. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe um, I could wear it for, you know, <laughs> Halloween with the shoes. <laughs> with the shoes, always. And here is another piece of uh, my, oh, couture, I my couture collection. Yeah. And always, always. <laughs> flowers How kind of material do you use for your yeah, dresses? I like. I really like silk, and um, silk, uh, organza, tulle, 
okay. uh, chiffon nice and everything with <laughs> embellishment and we have a necklace too uh oh <laughs> let me try this one <laughs> we can go like that to have grocery why not? <laughs> i don't understand why not <laughs> exactly <laughs> I mean, the spirit of my collection is you have to have fun, you have to be happy and feel special. Exactly. And <laughs> I mean, we all have to, you know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. how it is with my photography too. Like, you know, yeah. I, I try to make everybody feel special with everything that I do. Exactly. We need to, I like to, uh, to have all my girls and my, <laughs> to feel like a princess. Yeah. That's my princess world. You're <laughs> all welcome to join my princess world everywhere. We're all princesses, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Now, um, um, so talk to me, show me some of these shoes here. Let's see. Some of the shoes. Oh, I want to show you this shoe that that's the first pair ever oh wow <laughs> yeah i made them in milan nice. when i was about like what should i do in my life like <laughs> living in milan for nine years working with all the best fashion companies i have the chance to work with um, studying in the best school istituto marangoni that's really for in europe one of the most important we have milan paris and london nice. i was in the one in milan and um, one day after working, working hard, I was just like, oh my God, <laughs> I need to relax. Exactly. <laughs> and so I start to put some crystals in this shoe <laughs> and I say, but I don't want to do the, the other one like the same. So ah. that's my signature that every shoe is it's different. different. So yeah, you will never have a pair of Pamela Quincy shoes same right and left no that's good so it's like <laughs> this one right here right yeah this everything is different everything always <laughs> look like guys this. yep always Two different, different. Type of shoes see yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah always different um and no. it's nice, it's funny how the reaction of people when I walk on, it's like, what's she saying? <laughs> yeah, I bet. They're like, what is, she, what is that? Is that like a new style? Hey, yeah. that's how you start though. When you have a different type of style, just like the dress is two different flags. Yeah. I mean, people will be like, oh my God, I want that on my outfit. You know, exactly. like, yeah, so. I would want to, a Puerto Rican and a American flag. I, I think that now, <laughs> like, I need to start to make a different double dress. Yes, double flag dress. that'll be hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will. <laughs> Next collection. Yes. Yeah. And then, um, do you have another dress that you want to show us, or? Um, yeah, it's um, a purple dress. You could. It's you part could. of the first. It's part of the first collection that I made here. Okay. Um, always embroideries and um, this is really nice. I love this yeah. dress. <laughs> it's, it's one of the beginning, like one of your beginning dresses. Yeah, one of my beginning dress. And actually, I just shot that dress of yours. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. With with the oh my god, thank you for introducing me to this incredible artist Athena Rake. Yeah, she's oh, amazing. Wow, I mean, love really. <laughs> when I I was like listening her voice on the on the internet on the website and uh, she's amazing and she can sing and dance and she have this energy incredible yeah and thank you for introducing me her no, of course and i can't wait to see the picture <laughs> <laughs> yeah you guys have to stay tuned the photos actually came out like yeah amazing i, I love them i mean i'm not gonna tell you what i did <laughs> but once you see you're gonna be like ooh, and it's totally different for her too like she oh. loved it she was very comfortable nice. and we had a really great shoot like we nice. got very creative with it yeah Definitely. and she was number one on mtv logo, logo for yeah. her singles exactly so. yeah but love is love look yeah. it up <laughs> look it up really like you will be like, oh my god this girl really. yeah yeah the best of luck for her for everything yeah. yeah yeah she's amazing <laughs> now let's get some um of the fan questions here yep. okay this is tiffany odo from ohio and she says i want to know how you feel about being a powerful woman in the workplace and what are some of the obstacles they have faced in being a powerful woman in the fashion industry <laughs> 
That's a good question. <laughs> uh, well, okay, so um, I'm proud to be a um, powerful lady, like a woman. Um, you know, like sometimes when I talk with men, like in the industry, in the business, I think I shock them. Like, <laughs> first five minutes, you're like, <laughs> yeah. like oh my God, <laughs> like, like, let me run away from her. <laughs> I know, because, they feel threatened, you know? I don't know why, like, when you start, they seem like, oh, she's a nice girl. And then I start to talk and I'm like, I have a brain, <laughs> I think I'm smart, so let me tell you what I think. And they're like, oh my God. <laughs> so I feel good to be a, a woman, the, yeah. yeah. We, we need some powerful women, yes, like, we do. in the fashion, in everything. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, you know, you it's this almost like... <laughs> I mean, it's good to be a guy, you know, and have some some type of, you know, powerful image, but it's not good when you're cocky. <laughs> we don't like cocky men. <laughs> no, no. no. You know what I mean? <laughs> but just have, like, a passion and love and love everybody around you. Yeah. And, you know, don't be cocky about it because yeah, the same no. people that I will bring you up. I always say to everyone, like, if you start to act like a diva, Exactly. I don't need you in my life. Exactly. Like, I, I, like, <laughs> I like spontaneous, I like um, very modest people. The top of the, like, the very important people are so easy talking and, like, be, yes. like, no, like, acting, like, Oh, who are uh, you? Yeah, and I'm like, like, okay, bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was like that one comment that you wrote on your Facebook. What did you say the other day? You wrote something about if, if I, if I yeah. say yes and if you I, say no and then you say yes, I, I say, say no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that was so amazing. I was like, oh my God, I have to like totally yes, keep exactly. that in my head. And just Today you say no. Tomorrow you will like me to say yes, and I'll say no. Exactly. Yeah. There you because go. Because <laughs> really, we need to, like, we have just one life. Exactly. Let's smile. Let's have and fun. And have fun and enjoy it and live it up, baby. Yeah. Live it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, we have another question, mm -hmm. and this is from Ricky Abs from Bronx, New York. And he asks, um, what inspired you to be in the fashion world? Who would you love to work with? Um, dead or alive? Ooh, Ooh um, very good question, <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> I I have one um, one person that I will love to meet one day. Um, that is Tom Ford. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Ford. Um, I was following everything he was doing when I was in Milan. He was that was the time that he was very powerful at Gucci and in Saint Laurent. And he, for me, he really like build the brand, a philosophy exactly. of life. That's what I would love for my collections to be, not just a fashion collection, but like a status, a, a, a philosophy of life. Yeah, exactly. And he was really uh, amazing. The, the ladies and the women were very like sexy and kind of powerful lady. I know what you want. Exactly. Also the men lie was very elegant and you yeah. see like very nice style and everything was perfect the everything in the companies are like gucci and in Salora, i was starting in love <laughs> and i think he did a great job and one day i remember i was in milan after a fashion show after a gucci fashion show and i was waiting and waiting with a friend of mine <laughs> in a car and he uh, maybe around 9 p.m he finally get out from the place <laughs> and we start to follow him in the car and then, oh, there's Tom Ford here. You're stalking so him. We probably <laughs> took like three, four tickets right away because he was driving in a, yeah, in exactly. a like, <laughs> <laughs> private like street. So we follow him till a restaurant and I was just like, I say hi and that's <laughs> it. Like, no pictures, nothing. That, but that was the best moment. Yeah, I would like to, to meet him because I still feel like he, he is like a good inspiration exactly. for the, um, you know, the feeling, how a woman has to be exactly. and elegant. I like that. I like elegant. Yay. You are very elegant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my craziness. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's still always a woman that has to be sexy and elegant. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my god, this this is actually one of, <laughs> that picture is oh my god, one of my I favorite pictures me. ever. 
<laughs> that was my Halloween fashion show. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Now we have another um, question. Oh, wait, what is this one? Um, that's my last campaign with uh, exactly one of the metallic dresses and we are in New York as you can see and um, that was shoot a week ago. Nice. So it's about um, the Cinderella of New York that come that yeah, is my blog. Like the story. Yeah, that what I'm writing uh, all the story, like how everything starts and step by step. So and what what is this, what is the name of the blog again? Cinderella of New York dot com. Ooh, Cinderella <laughs> of New York dot com. <laughs> yeah. So that's the campaign for the new collection and new pieces. Nice. I don't like to say um, that I have a season because it's more about new unique pieces in my exactly. collection. I don't want to divide in winter or summer or that's a good way. Designs. Yes. Make it different, you know? <laughs> like the double thing, the double dresses, double yeah. shoes. Like I just love that. Yeah, why not? <laughs> you know, I mean that definitely will make who you are at the end you know, at the end of the yeah. day that's that does make you who you are. Yes, that's and it will definitely differentiate from the other fashion designers. And I think that you will go a long, <laughs> long way. Definitely. Cross fingers. Now what about this one? That's part of the um, of the campaign and uh, I wanna keep my lucky pink boots always <laughs> with me so yeah so she's like a, a doll a princess in uh, in this world that she have and then she starts to going around but she's not sure that she wants to leave her world but she tried that's why we see her on the street exactly. and like no, that's really cool. I mean, this is actually your inside your yeah, studio. Yeah, that's my studio. <laughs> that's my studio. And you could definitely, you see guys, you could definitely see that this looks like a dollhouse. Like, her apartment looks like a dollhouse. I went in there and I was like, oh my God, what is this? You know, like, it, I was yeah. like, I'm going into Barbie's house right now or Cinderella, you know? Yeah. And, um, ooh, this cool. That's the moment, you recognize the dress? Yes. <laughs> Her That's the moment dress. I won the award in, at Ponte in Italy, Ponte Milvian Moda. Yeah. Wow, this is so cool. You must it have been like nice. so happy. And, yeah, like, I was very happy. <laughs> also because my fam family was there, so they live in Italy. They never see me, so that was a nice special moment. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. That's my studio. Yes, it's another picture. Yeah. I like that. And I love this photo with the <laughs> shoe. That's, I tell you the story, the converse. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, after my first pair that I made in Milan, I was about to leave. And I, and I was like, I want to bring my shoes in New York and, you know, like for good luck and come <laughs> with me in the luggage. But I was like, but I want to... I want to have something like, I know that I was walking so much in New York exactly. and so I, I want to have something special to wear but to be comfortable because I don't know with like yeah, with the high, high heels. How, <laughs> how many blocks you can do. <laughs> so I was like, well, let me just put something here and there and I create the first pair of Converse. That's awesome. It's going to be a line that is going to arrive soon. Like if you, if you want to have a pair of Converse with my uh, design. Pamela Pinsley design on, you can just contact me and, and, and have it. And, um, and they can contact you at PamelaQuincyDesign.com. That com, yeah, that's my website. Oh. Um, that's Elena Damario, the dancer. And she's great, as you can see, wow. but you should see her dancing in real, it's amazing. In reality. And she was wearing this body that I embroidered for her, and wow. that was the beginning of the show. That is amazing. Yeah, yeah you could definitely see her yeah. flexing. Yes, and yes, yes, yes. And she's great. beautiful. She's beautiful. Ooh. Some of my creations. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love those shoes. And this one too, the beginning of my collection yeah Aww. that was my first red carpet event with my logo here nice <laughs> pamela quincy <Thank> you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that's one of my dresses you look beautiful in that picture Thanks. i had You're long good. hair before <laughs> now i cut everything but it looks good <laughs> yes <laughs> summer you know <laughs> let it grow back out in the winter yeah. when you need to like cover up <laughs> yeah the, I like that. Those shoes are, this picture is from the Plaza fashion show Hotel, with, yeah. uh, where we met. Nice. Yeah, that was a nice. 
and that's the singer uh, Mama Rone uh, during wow. the, the video music that was in Times Square. And that's that good. One of my dresses, and yeah, she's amazing and beautiful. Oh, wow, yeah. that's a great picture. Penn and that's in the music video, right? Yeah, Penn oh. Station, 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> hey, that's how you have to do it. That's when, like, right? nobody's in there and you can do whatever you exactly, want. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Elena Ooh, dancing wow. for a photo shooting in Bryan Park with this dress that I showed you before. This. That's nice. Yeah. That's a beautiful picture. Yeah. Me and Ooh, her, wow. she looks like she's flying. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that awesome? That is amazing. Yeah. And you're just like, oh, whatever. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> like a Cinderella. Yeah. And here you Okay, are. so I have another question. We also have another fan question. And his name is Jordan Essek from Orlando, Florida. Florida. I just came back from Florida. Did you? I'm from Florida. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, what part of Orlando you went to? No, I went to Gainesville and Jacksonville. Gainesville. Oh, yeah. nice. Was, How was it? You had fun? It was nice. I was with my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> it was hot over there, right? <laughs> yeah, it was hot and the raining. So. so, Jordan is asking, what gives you the courage to create such lavish and bold dress designs? And where do you come up with the designs? Do you just have an idea or does another object trigger the idea for a design? I would also compliment you on all the beautiful dresses. He loves oh, your dresses. Thank you. And he says he's, he admires you, so. Thanks. But that's like, how did you come up with this crazy idea <laughs> of those crazy dresses, girl? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Well, oh, yeah, I think you're right. I don't even know. <laughs> I think it's the garment district fault <laughs> that I work there every day. And I'm like, oh my God, I love this, I love this, I love this. And then I create. Um, it came just from my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything. What about now? Would you? What is your? I just wanted to ask you real quick. Mm -hmm. What celebrity would you want to dress right now? That's out in the world. Lady Gaga. Yes. <laughs> we Lady all Gaga. love Lady Gaga. Yeah, she's crazy enough for me. <laughs> Yeah, right? She would love your dresses. She's like, oh, this matches. Where are you, Lady Gaga? Come in, Chelsea. <laughs> Please, Lady Gaga, if you're watching this, make sure that you go to PamelaQuincyDesign.com yeah. and reach out to her and she will love to make you yes. an outfit. We can eat some pasta together since yes. she's half Italian too, so please <laughs> come. <laughs> Now, what is what are you wanting to do now in your future? What what are your um, so now I'm planning. I have an event with a fashion show um, next August 18th. 18th. That is called a champagne champagne soirée. Nice. It's gonna be at Polar Polar Lounge in New York. Nice. New York nice. City, and we're gonna start the event at 7 p.m. Probably the fashion show will be around 9 p.m. Okay. And uh, I can't wait. Yay! And where they can they can um, get the tickets? Yeah, they can just uh, go online and check the Champagne Sweary on eventstribe. Okay. Cool. cool. And just or you guys can add her on Facebook. <laughs> so you can you can add me on Facebook, and I will tell you everything. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And then for Fashion Week, of course, I'm going to have my fashion show. It's a secret. Ooh. So we don't know yet where, how. Uh -oh. I definitely want to come. <laughs> I will definitely be there, And actually. you wear my shoes? Yes, I can yes. wear your shoes. Maybe I can walk down the runway or something. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Pamela, for coming thank on my you. show. Thanks. I truly appreciated this. It was and fun. And everything came out. I mean, this is beautiful. All Thanks. your stuff is beautiful. And I congratulate you on everything that you do. Thanks. And I hope that, you know, when you make it to the top, you always remember me. Of course. <laughs> Of course, also because we're gonna have a shooting together exactly uh, soon with uh, Camille. Oh yes, Camille yeah. McDonald. Yes, um, so make sure to keep an eye on that. It's gonna yeah. be a secret location. With so. Camille from American Next Top Model yes. together with Pedro yes. and I can with and her a Pamela dad. Quincy design. Thank you. Yay! Ciao. Now give them your um, <laughs> well before you leave. Wait, give them your um information um so that way they can. Yeah, so you can check my website that is pamelaquincydesign.com 
and um, contact me through the website for um, any dresses or shoes. I have a gallery with, with the shoes and uh, just check my blog cinderellaofnewyork.com nice. so you can read my story and uh, <laughs> tell me what you think. <laughs> and say, thank you guys for watching Ciao. and I'll be back in later on. Love you guys. Bye bye. city than in Italy? Well, um, fashion is a very competitive world, I think, everywhere. Milan uh, used to call the capital of fashion, but I think New York, it really is. <laughs> Sorry, Milan. <laughs> and um, of course, everywhere it's very hard. Uh, it's not just fancy and glittery and uh, fashion, it's a very strong world. Exactly. And, yeah, so. and how do you promote yourself here now that... Well, let's say that everything starts just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just moving to New York and uh, working for a company that I'm designing to for this company. So, um, What's the name of... Um, Mm, it's an handbags company. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, so, wow, um, nice. wait, I work for them, and then uh, just for fun, I would start to uh, wear my shoes. And actually, in Milan, I made my first pair. The PVAT show is sponsored by MountGox.com and mezzygrill.com and carpebm.com Hi guys, welcome back to the PVA show. Today I have Pamela Quincy, an Italian designer from Italy. How Hi. are you? I'm good, thank Yay. you for this nice I know, I was excited. <laughs> we got shoes, we have dresses. I mean, yeah. we have it all here in the studio, guys. And hopefully you will enjoy it as much as I will. Now, um, what made you come from Italy to New York City? <laughs> well, okay, so let's start this adventure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I came uh, two years ago, in 2009. Um, I was working in Milan for many years. And, at one and oh, um, I just bring it with me in the luggage. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was going out and I said, well, why not put just my shoes and have, you know, some different <laughs> things. And then people was like stop me and say, wow, where did you get there? These are nice. So I start to make new pairs. Nice. And, um, and then everything starts one day when a girl that I met in a club, she told me, well, like, you actually have a very interesting style. We should have a fashion show. Definitely. I was like, a fashion show in New York? <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, yeah, let's do it. And, um, and I, I start and I did like this first fashion show at Greenhouse that is like nice. one of the major... Yeah, that's like one of the top clubs out here. Yeah. I mean, pretty much all the celebrities go to the Greenhouse. Exactly. So, uh, I, I still haven't <laughs> been, actually. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I have to go, guys. You're with me. <laughs> so we did this fashion show at Greenhouse and it w that was April in 2010. Nice. And after this show, I never stopped. I know, I, I see. <laughs> I mean, I've been to, what, I went to your first fashion show, I believe. Um, at the Plaza. At the Plaza Hotel. Yeah. Yes, actually, that's where we met. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then, um, then afterwards, I, well, I went, I went to a couple other ones, and then I also went to your first year anniversary. Yes, that was a yes. sky room, and we have a lot of fun. Yes. We had, like, a cake. Exactly, and, uh, like, it was yeah, beautiful. Yeah, we had the mini fashion shows. Yeah, it's very, it's very interesting, like the fashion world in New York, because it really gives, gives a lot of uh, young designers the possibility to show exactly. uh, the collection, their ideas. Exactly. And that's, that's a little bit the difference between Italy and um, America. <laughs> <laughs> because um, it really is like the place where you really get the, the chance and the opportunity. At one point I decided to have a trip. And I said, mm, where can I go? Let's go to New York. <laughs> I didn't really want to 
come to New York. I just decided to have a trip and relax after having like uh, work a lot in the fashion exactly. industry in Milan. And New York chose me. <laughs> <laughs> so I definitely, after five minutes that I was here, I was in the cab in Times Square like that. Oh my God, what, this is <laughs> the best place in the world. Like a lot of energies and everything. And I really decided right away, I want to stay here. Exactly. <laughs> so I, I just start to, to see how this was like become possible. And, and how long have you lived here now? Two years. Two years, wow. Yeah. September, 3rd of September is going to be two yeah. years. Nice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so how do you feel? How is the competitive world in New York?